Hi there, my name is Joey and I'm a coach at The Plucky Jester, where we help creatives get started and stay moving on their most ambitious projects. We believe in the power of habits, and that's why we design solid habits, strong focus, and break down the most daunting projects into their smallest behaviours. In this series, I'll be demonstrating the effectiveness of our approach by learning how to play the regulator by clutch through a consistent daily practice of only 10 minutes over 28 days. At the same time, I'll be showing you how I go through the creative struggle of producing YouTube content. By following along, I hope you will be motivated to take just 10 minutes every day to start moving on your own daunting projects. Also, that with daily practice, even for just 10 minutes, you can achieve impressive results in just 28 days. Full disclosure, I've been playing guitar for a little while. These guitars are almost 20 years old, but from day one to day 28, I'm sure you will see dramatic improvement in both my playing of the regulator as well as the quality of my videos. By watching this series, you'll see the compounding power of habits and also get a taste of the process we use at the Plucky Jester and whether it might be a fit for you and your own creative ambitions. Day 11. In yesterday's session, I mentioned two principles to remember when the conditions for habit building are not ideal. The first one was reduce the scope, stick to the schedule, which I explained further in yesterday's session. In today's session, I want to talk about the principle of don't miss twice. When a client and I initially meet and design their habit building program, we do our best to anticipate anything that might come up and increase friction or derail the process. However, the thing about surprises are that they are surprising, and more often than not, something we did not anticipate may come up which may mean that the client is unable to practice their habit on a given day. A key habit of the habit building process is to become resilient to these minor setbacks. The idea of don't miss twice is that the occasional miss has a chance of happening, but it's really important to double your efforts on the next day to make sure the habit gets done. Never miss twice is an important part of building resilience to minor setbacks in habit building. So in my case, I missed recording day 9 and put in an even stronger effort to get the day 10 recording done, even though I was feeling a bit tired after returning home from a trip and wasn't in my usual recording slot. But as a result, it's much easier for me to slide into today's recording than if I were staring at two misses in a row. And with that, let's play some Regulator. Okay, I think, I think it's a pretty solid start. I'm really enjoying how much I, like when I go from practice session to practice session, it's, it's been fairly rare that I've felt stuck between practice session to practice session. And I think part of that is being able to take a, a nice long break, get, get, some, get some sleep in between sessions and to, to come back fresh and, and jump into it. So, yeah, I, a lot of the sticking points that I had yesterday, I feel like I haven't, I, I feel like they're, they're starting to get a little less sticky, which is good. So I might start, I might just do a few more runs and then I will might go into the next section of the song, which is the verse. So here we go.
the this this uh, little section here has is is quite challenging. Oh jeez. That wasn't the challenge I was uh, thinking about, but uh, that that little part there is is quite challenging because uh, when when I try and play it, it I, I completely choke up like you just saw then, but also because it repeats so many times. And so I actually have to, it's not, not yet intuitive to me when to go from to, uh, it's not yet intuitive to me. So I actually have to count in my head one, two, it, it repeats seven times. So it's, that, that, that's a bit of a challenge. That's, uh, that's what I signed up for. So that's, that's cool. So the, the next part, the verse, So the the verse looks quite simple. So it's just basically like Ah, so that bit repeats twice, pardon me. So it goes like I love this song, so being able to play it, it, it feels so feels so magic. So I'm I'm really enjoying this. So so that that, that part seems pretty good. Uh, if I was just going to combine the the se the section that I was complaining about, uh, not complaining, saying it was challenging. Uh, so if I was going to comp combine that with the verse, I think it should be fairly easy. So then. So this is the next bit. Hmm. There's a very tricky section coming up. <laughs> uh, okay, so that the first part of the verse seems pretty straightforward. I don't want to speak too soon, but it it basically I think I think I've got that part down, so it's like Transitioning from the, the first section of the verse to the second section is a is a little bit challenging at the moment. So maybe so maybe I did speak too soon there. So uh, so it goes not even sure what that's meant to be <laughs> all right so Hmm. Okay, 
that's gonna need some work. So it's. So I think what I need to do is like like I did last time, just try playing the melody and trying to make sense of that. So I think it's something I've And that's time. This the, the time goes way too quickly. I, I'm really enjoying I'm really enjoying the, these practice sessions. Hopefully that's coming through in, in my videos, even where I get a bit a bit frustrated with my with my abilities. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying that part it the it, it's nice to go from a particularly challenging section to something that's a little bit easier uh, but as I as, as we got to the end of that session I ran into a bit of a, a bit of a block so I'm really excited about about facing this this new this new little challenge and I am really looking forward to the next video and I hope to see you there